Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkazunki, and here in the background footage that I have is just a few clips from a Tormented Demons trip I did with me and a friend the other day. Um, and I want to talk about a little bit about PVM and Tormented Demons and stuff like that in general. Um, lately, I have been trying to get a lot into PVM. Um, I have had some major, major internet problems, so it hasn't been easy. I have been able to do Glacors just because if even if you do die there, which I have um, because of disconnecting, uh, it's not really a big deal because you can get back really easily and there's pretty much no way to lose your stuff because it, it's really easy to get back to your grave. It's just right next to a fairy ring. But with a lot of other bosses, such as Tormented Demons, it is a good five minute run down here. Um, and also, I actually did die later in this trip due to disconnecting, you'll see that. Um, but I barely made it, well I think I had a fair amount of time left on my grave, but only because I have like the best grave in the game. If I had one of those like worse graves, uh, it would have been very difficult to get back here. So I can understand like for some people that have disconnecting problems, TDs would probably be really hard of a boss to do. Um, and also with Tormented Demons, I've just had the worst luck. Um, during this part in the video, we actually had five TDs on us at once. Uh, with two people, if you somewhat know what you're doing, you can handle like up to three on you at once, but any more than that, it's just really too difficult. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any drops, so uh, I'd show a lot of kills and like the loots that I got from the kills, but it's mostly just charms, a few rune items, um, stuff like that. I didn't get any claws. Um, and later on, my friend left, so I was just uh, at my by myself, uh, killing Tormented Demons for a little while. Um, because I did have a few supplies left in the Yak. Um, but I do really, really enjoy this boss. Um, I might actually go back because at the moment uh, I am not home. I am actually at my parents' house. Um, and I should be able to have fairly good internet here. Uh, they have told me that their internet connection is pretty good. I've only been online for a farm run so far. haven't done anything other than that so far. But um, if their internet connection hasn't had any problems with disconnects I might do that and I might make some PVM videos so tell you tell you guys tell me what you would like to see um, PVM wise I'm not going to be doing Nex or Calphite King because those are just absolutely no you have to deal with teams um, you have to deal with uh, people splitting the loots and you know getting there and I honestly hate Nex it's my least favorite boss and Calphite King it's just really hard to find a decent team for it when you don't have Dragors like I don't um, so anyway, those are out of the option, but any other boss, uh, I'm not a huge God Wars dungeon fan, although I do go there at, on occasion. I would say when I'm in the PVMing mood, I do go there a couple times a week at least. Um, God Wars dungeon has never been a very lucky boss to me. That's, I think, why I can stick with Glacors as much as I have, because I've actually had a, a fair amount of luck at Glacors. Um, so far with Tormented Demons, I would really, really like to get my first ever drop there. Um, I have killed over a thousand TDs, and I've never had claws, I've never had an armor shard, and of course I've never had limbs either. Um, so I would really like to get my first ever drop at TDs. Um, I might try to do that during the next couple days, um, and that might be a kind of fun video to see, me getting my first claws perhaps. I'd, of course, much rather get dragon limbs. Um, is it just me, or every single time I've seen a YouTuber make a video on TDs, they never get an armor shard or claws, they always seem to get dragon limbs. I don't know why that is, um, just kind of one of those odd things. And uh, yeah, this was actually the uh, the part where I disconnected, you see my character was just frozen there, I was like, oh crap get out of here. Uh, unfortunately I did not have a tele-tab in my inventory otherwise I would be spamming that but I did die because I disconnected. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I didn't actually have any more sapphire lanterns in my bank which was a huge fail so I had to go to the GE and make a few. I made like 10 sapphire lanterns so in the future when I go to TDs and die because I probably will I do tend to disconnect a lot um, then yeah I, I will most likely you know just have plenty of sapphire lanterns left over. Um, for whatever reason the internet problems have always seemed to arise like mostly when you're PVMing. I don't know if that's the case for any of you other guys, but like I don't disconnect when I'm skilling, I only disconnect when I'm PVMing. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with like the number of pixels on the screen. Obviously when you're chopping Ivy, um, I think it takes a lot less out of your computer than when there's like a whole bunch of monsters fighting you. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or just the uh, the internet itself. But anyways, as I said, uh, I will be at a different house with hopefully a better internet connection for uh, probably the next few days. So uh, I will be able to um, hopefully do some bossing in. Uh, I would probably 
I might do a few trips to God Wars Dungeon, that sort of stuff. But anyways, I do show the loot here uh, that I did get during the trip. Uh, not a whole lot of loot, obviously. I just got a few rune items, and unfortunately I lost all the charms um, that I did collect, because when you die, you lose all the charms. But I got, like, a nearly 200k worth of rune items, so I guess that's decent. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, and farewell.